Follow these tips to start making money online right now. First thing you need to do is go over your plan. If you don't have a plan, you need to make sure that you find one. You can find a plan in multiple ways and multiple facets. Some come in books, some come in the form of strategy guides. What I like to recommend is finding an actual mentor. A mentor is a great way to go because a mentor can give you step-by-step advice and guide you on the pitfalls and the pain points that you should avoid and also be prepared for. If you have these guidances with you, you can save yourself a lot of time and energy and also avoid a lot of mistakes. Keep in mind, there is no foolproof, perfect way to go about it, but having a mentor will save you so much extra time and energy that it's really recommended versus doing it all by yourself. Remember, don't reinvent the wheel. The next tip that I recommend is going over your skill set. You need to have a clear, objective viewpoint of your skill set. Make sure you're being honest with yourself. It's very important that you maximize your skill set and double down on your strengths while when you get the time and opportunity sharpening those weaknesses. Focusing on your strengths first should be a no-brainer. This is how you're going to gain some momentum, hopefully get some successes, and also attract other men and women of value who are willing to come in and trust you and take a chance on you to be someone they are willing to work with. So maximize yourself by doubling down on your strengths, then go ahead after and sharpen some of those weaknesses. The next tip is going to be making sure that you have appropriate means of controlling the workload. This is done by making sure you have some sort of vice or outlet so you do not burn out. Burnout is a real problem. It's something that I constantly talk about with my students, making sure that they do not burn out, whether it's a school assignment or it's something that they are doing in terms of business. Burnout is something that can sneak up on all of us if we're not careful It's something that is very well known and very well researched, but we need to have healthy outlets to avoid burnout. This can be helpful in the form of many different ways, whether that can be a vacation, a break, a timed, allotted sabbatical, whatever method that you choose, make sure that you're following it and ideally find one that's been proven over time to work for many other people in your field and your personality type. This leads to my next tip, which is going to be all about your personality type, knowing yourself and how you work. Now, this is important for a lot of different reasons that we're going to dive into. Knowing yourself is great so you can avoid triggers that can potentially cause you harm and or waste a lot of your time. So knowing yourself, knowing your triggers can be essential for you being successful. And my favorite reason to know yourself and to know about your personality type is because it can help you figure out how to efficiently learn. When you know how you learn, when you know what type of learning style works best for you, you can be very efficient with your time. You can utilize strengths and weaknesses based off your personality to get the most out of any lesson plan correlated to how you learn. So this is going to be really beneficial. If you're someone that needs to see something, you know that you're going to be a visual learner. If you're someone that's more audio, you're going to be an audio type of learner. There's different types of learning styles that you can maximize. So figure out what works best for you, your personality type, your temperate, and then go ahead and build a curriculum from there. My next tip is going to be all about routine. Make sure that you have a structured routine. This is going to be helpful for you. Of course, you want to make that routine based off what's best for you. But having a routine is one of the most successful traits you're going to find in any men or women involved in success. We know that children thrive well when they have structure. It's very healthy to have some sort of routine. Now, you can go ahead and tweak this routine once you get it down, once you have a good footing, once you are able to be a little bit more flexible. But in the meantime, when you are just starting out and getting your footing, try to find a good routine. This is also where a good mentor is helpful because they usually have developed routines and curriculums that you can follow based off personality types, hopefully that are similar to yours. You can utilize some of these uh, tools in your routine, whether the, the routine itself or just some of the tools to build your own routine. Or you can ask them if you are close to them, if they are around They're not someone in books, but an actual person that you have a relationship with or even just in a Facebook group. You can ask them some of these things and they can help you so that you can get a chance to have a flow and figure out how to be productive with your time. And finally, we are going to talk about the final step, which is going to be the obvious work hard. 
when you run into these men and women of value that are willing to give you contributions to your success, make sure that you're not wasting their time. More often than not, all they're going to want to see is that you work hard. A lot of times you're going to remind them of them just in a form of you. So if you can just be motivated and do what you're supposed to do, they will feel like they're paying it forward. Make sure you take the help as well. There's no shame in taking help. We all need it. When you get a chance, give that help right back. That's your way of paying it forward. Just like that's probably the reason they are paying it forward to you. Someone probably have helped them along the way at some point to some degree. And this is their way of paying it forward. So take the help. When you get a chance, make sure you give that help right back. And if you utilize these quick tips, you will have a better chance of being successful in the field of making money online. Now, if you want to learn more about making money online, please go ahead and leave a comment below. I actually have a course on ways to maximize making money online. It's in beta phase right now. You can get it at a discount. So let me know if that's something you're interested in. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you on the next one. Thank you and be well.